Welcome or welcome back to What's the Obsession? So I put out a community poll and I found out that a lot of you, like myself, have been watching the Apple River Stabbings trial. I was watching it a lot last week while I was off of work for a little over a week on my spring break and I just got absolutely hooked on the testimonies. So I just want to give you a little bit of background on this trial. So who is on trial? Who's on trial is Nicholas Mew. He's 54 years old and it is not in question if Nicholas Mew did indeed commit the stabbings. He is facing charges of first degree intentional homicide after the death of 17 year old Isaac Schumann and multiple counts of attempted first degree intentional homicide for his alleged role in the stabbings in the Apple River. Now, the other victims' injuries were not fatal, but there were four other victims who ranged in age from 17 to 24 and were from Wisconsin and Minnesota. The prosecution aims to prove that Nicholas Mew was the aggressor, and the defense is trying to show that Nicholas Mew was in fear for his life as he himself was facing this group of much younger, far more fit people than himself. It should be noted that Nicholas Mew was just snorkeling down the river on his own. There are different stories as to what he was doing while he was snorkeling, but um, he is a triple, I mean quadruple, excuse me, bypass surgery survivor. So what was everyone doing anyway? They were engaging in this activity called tubing. So when people are tubing, they all get in a tube and float down a rather calm river. You can tie your tubes together so you can remain connected to the people in your party. And people just do this to enjoy a nice hot summer day, to enjoy the sun and the scenery. Some people end up drinking. A lot of the people that were involved in this altercation were in fact drinking, whether intoxicated or not. And it's just a leisurely activity that people in this part of the world enjoy in the summertime. So what you're about to hear is the interrogation of Nicholas Mew, who did in fact commit these stabbings. Again, that is not in question. It is just a legal question of whether he was doing this out of aggression or in self-defense. As of today, April 9th, 2024, they are just on day six of the testimonies in this trial. So if you haven't got hooked yet, there's probably plenty of time to still listen to testimonies from both sides and get hooked on this case. I find it to be extremely interesting and there will be more coverage on this case according to what you guys want on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Hi, Nick. My name is Brandy. Hi. I'm a lieutenant with the St. Clair County Sheriff's Office, okay? Um, you got some water, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have you had anything to eat? No. Okay. Let me, uh... Can I will wait for now. Okay. Food. Are you sure? I'm not happy. Yet. Okay. Well, if you get hungry, yeah. just I'm let these guys know, okay? Or let me know when I can... Uh, I'm just very thirsty. Yeah, I bet. Uh, Plus, it was a long time. I'm out on the river drinking beer all day and not drinking any water. And it's hot and, and yeah. yeah. Being in the sun all day. Doesn't matter if you're drinking beer. Sometimes it's just uh, and then this, yeah. So I would imagine that you have some questions. Well. Um, I am just going to go through the rights form and, you know, let you know if you want to answer any of my questions. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to record our conversation, sure. if you're okay with that. Of course. Um, let's see, today is the 30th of July, and it is 7.53 p.m. Hi, 
How do you spell your first name? N I C O L A E. Okay. And last name, and no middle name. No middle name, okay. Yeah. And what's your last name? M I U. How do you spell, or um, how do you pronounce that? Mew. Okay. And what's your birthday? Do you, do you like to be called Nikolai or Nick or Nick. what? Nick. Okay. Yeah. Um, December 11th, 19th. Okay, so that makes you? 52. 52. Thank you. What's your address, Nick? Holy cats, that's a multiple. It's a long one, it, yeah. it didn't look oh, sure. well. I don't even know if I have enough space in this you, you plane. Do, you do. South southeast. East. Oh, southeast. Thank you for yeah. correcting me. No problem. And that's priorly. Priorly. Okay. What's the zip code in Priorly? 55372. Okay. And how about a phone number for you next? Seven, and I understand you're married to Sandy, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. Um, she okay? She is. Yeah, she. I did talk to her. I talked to her for quite a while. Um, I brought her to get the dry clothes. Okay. Um, Where is she? Um, she is with Ernesto and Amy. Okay, good. good. They're taking good care of her. And then... Uh, Titi, my puppy. Uh, she's headed home to take care of the dog. Um, and she's also with uh, Ariel and uh, uh, well, his girlfriend. Oh, God, I don't even know. Is it Tatiana? No, Tatiana. Tatiana is another girl. Okay. But she's not Hold on, they Tatiana. gave me... Yes. Oh, Fanny didn't know Ariel's girlfriend's name. Neither do I. Okay. But Ernesto and Amy they, they came to, to where I was with Sandy, and they went and got the car... But I had brought Sandy to the car to she get changed. She was driving, right? No, she was uh, with me. I brought her from the river to the car okay. so she could get clothes. Okay. And we brought the cooler back and put that in the car. Um, so she's got all the stuff. All right. Are you working anywhere now? Mm-hmm. Okay, where do you work? I work at Reach Engineering as a mechanical engineer. And what, what kind of engineering? What mechanical was that? Mechanical engineer. Yeah, what's the name of your employer? Oh, Ricci. R-I-T-C-H-I-E. Engineering in Bloomington. Five, five, four, two, seven. I think it is. Okay. What was the last grade that you completed? I have a bachelor's, and I have actually two degrees: one okay. in engineering, one in mathematics. Wow. And I'm a class away from a master's in both. I'm not a dummy, and I've never run, never had a uh, run uh, with the law except when I got the uh, wool, wool joke. Okay. That. Uh, so where did you get your uh, degree from, your undergraduate South degree? South Dakota State University. Okay. Is that the bison? No, the Jack Rabbit. Oh, okay. In Brooklyn. Um, and how about your master's degree? Where are you working on I'm that? Not, I'm not working on it yet. Okay. Yeah, I did pass the EIT so that I could work. Gotcha. Um, for the state as a licensed sure. engineer, but I haven't had a chance to do that. For many years, I worked as a contractor, a contracting engineer. And then for the past 16 years, I've been working with uh, Richie Engineering, where I met Sandy. Okay. What uh, What does Richie Engineering do? Like, what do they yes. manufacture? Uh, what do we do? We do uh, HVAC service equipment. Okay. Basically, we're the, the top tier of HVAC. We're like the top brand. Uh, and that brand for that is Yellow Jacket. Okay. And is that for the parts? The the brand of the, 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 the yeah, yeah. Everything we, we make there, we make it under the Yellow Jacket brand. Got it. But okay. the company, the name is Ricci Engineering. Okay. So what I do, I do everything from hoses, recovery machines, all the electronics. I uh, talk to customers. I uh, get business, I do the documentation, the design, it's a small company, okay. so I like to do everything. Testing, evaluation, um, you name it. You know, wow. 16 years over there, and that's not even, that's not even scratching the surface. Really? I, well, I have bigger dreams now, yeah. shattered, but anyway, I don't want to talk about them right now. Okay. I don't know exactly what happened, I just I, I can't talk about it. I need to go one step at a time. Yep. And if you have any questions along the way, Nick, yes. just stop. 
an acne, okay? Or if you need to take a break, just... How bad is it? Well, can we get through this form and ask <laughs> okay. each other yeah. questions? Yeah. I just, I don't want to, I want to maintain the integrity of yeah. this All investigation right. and your rights and, you know, so I want to get through this form and then yes. we can ask questions, okay? So I'm going to turn this around. Um, I'll give you this pen. What I'll have you do is I'm going to read each. Uh, you, you seem to speak excellent English. Yeah. You can read. Yeah, Miranda, 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 Miranda right? Yeah. yeah. Which have not been read to me when I was put in the car. And, right? and that's okay, because as long as they weren't asking you any questions, they don't need to. Oh. But I'd like to ask these questions, so that's why we're going to go through this right now, right. okay? So I'll let you have that pen, and so I'm going to read these to you, okay? Mm -hmm. You have the right to remain silent. Okay. Or just be... Uh, uh, you can check mark it, or some people put their initials. Oh. You know, we'll have you sign it at the bottom, so sure. that's well, however you want to do that. Anything you say can be used against you in court or other proceedings. You have the right to consult an attorney before making any statement or answering any question, and you may have him or her present with you during questioning. Okay. And also, well, well, stop me, I, I yeah, talk kind of fast. Yeah, I was okay. going to ask you about this one. Okay. So, yep. how, when do I see one? When do I get one assigned to me? You would get one assigned to you the, er, the soonest uh, would be on Monday. Oh. So that would be the, the soonest. Um, and working hours, working hours, yeah, yeah, pretty much is how that works. Okay. So if you cannot afford to pay for an attorney, you may be eligible to be represented by an attorney from the office of the state public defender. If you desire an attorney from that office, you should contact their local office. And, and that information would be provided to me or? Yes. Um, so what happens is uh, they, we actually, the jail provides that information every day to the public defender's office, like he or she was on the list. Okay. So some people come into jail and they uh, either have a lawyer mm -hmm. already because of other things or they know a lawyer or mm -hmm. th they're going to find their own. So right. these guys will let you use the phone if that's... If I'll that's ask Candy to look for me okay. that's okay. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I don't, I'm not going to see you. Yeah, you, nope, that's fine. If you decide to answer questions now, with or without an attorney, you still have the right to stop the questioning at any time or stop the questioning for the purpose of consulting an attorney. Yeah, I'd like to do it at, at some point. Okay. You can just check mark that we went over that. However, you may waive the right to remain silent and you may answer questions now without an attorney. You can just check mark that I read that to you. You're not agreeing to anything right now. This is just that I that I mm -hmm. stated these things to you. Mm -hmm. So this says the above rights have been read to me. I have initialed each paragraph, or in your case, check mark, to show that I understand each of my rights. I have received a copy of this form. So you sign it, and then I'm going to sign it, Nick, and then I'm going to give you a copy of it. Alright, here. And that 801. Alright, Okay. Hi, sorry. Do you want me to write it regular? Okay. No. I get I get so caught up in uh use of that. Yeah. My friends don't like it because in my vehicle. Yeah. My own vehicle that I drive, it's military time, and so they're so always asking me what time. I, I have is military because I came from Europe. And oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. They, they call it military, but it's not military. It's right. It's the... The proper time. Exactly. Well, good. At least then you know what it, you know what it means then when I put the, the time on there like that. Um, so I would like to ask you questions about your day today, what happened, uh, you know, like how you, how you guys got to be in the Apple River today, and then like what your day was like. Mm -hmm. um, it's up to you if you're willing to answer questions. If you decide that, yep, I'll answer questions right now, and in 10 minutes you don't want to answer anymore, you just need to tell me that, okay? And if you don't want to answer questions right now, then that's fine too, and I will leave. It, it's up to you. All I can say, it was a uh, it was Self-defense. Self-defense, there are lots of people uh, that came on to me. Self-defense, and they produced two weapons, one I took from them. Okay. That's the only thing I can tell. And they were, they hit me, and they were on top of me, and that's, I don't remember anything after that. I just remember I ran away. 
I ran away to my to my uh, group. There were actually people coming over from my group to see what was going on. I said nothing, nothing, nothing. Just get back and and, and they kept asking, and I said nothing, nothing. I didn't explain to them anything because I, I was I was so fearful. I didn't know what these people would be doing to us. I've never been in a situation like this where people produce weapons on, and they were saying they were uh, calling. Um, don't I, I don't remember, but they said don't run away, don't don't run from us, don't do this. Uh, you're a child molester. You are this. And again, I said are you people drunk. Well, you're a child molester. I said the only thing I remember is, in my mind is if I'm a child molester, should you be drinking? Should you be drinking alcohol and and doing what you're doing to people that you don't even know? Attacking them, and I said, if, if I'm a child molester, you should be having alcohol, you know. And and they took my uh, I was snorkeling, so they took my snorkel away. They threw it in the water. They grabbed my pants. One wanted to pull my pants down, and I grabbed onto him. And I don't know who that kid was, but he produced. He had a knife on on him. And then there was another uh, knife, a longer knife, uh, looked like a kitchen knife, um, okay. kitchen or something. I don't know, and I don't know what happened to either one of them. I just know that I, I when 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 the kid attacked me, I took that from him. The kitchen knife or the other? No, knife? the small, the smaller knife. Okay, what did that knife look like? Do you remember? I don't even remember. But yeah. it was smaller. Smaller, yes. Okay. So. That's all How I did mean. you get to be by them? Or who are so, these people? So, uh, Ariel lost his phone. Okay. The phone was in the floor. One of those bags? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then he, everyone had one, but his phone was in the floor, so he says, well, let's go look for it. So I put, put my smartphone on, and I looked, and this guy found something. And they were talking about it, and I said, okay. This group of people? This group oh, of people, gotcha. yeah. I went over, and I said, did you guys find the phone? And if you did, can I see it? Can I identify it? And they started calling me names. They got off of their tubes. They came at me. And I said, all I need. And they were calling me all kinds of names, insulting me for being in the water with a, with a snorkel. And I said, all I want, guys, did you find the phone? And I saw they had, a, they had found something. Okay. All right. And I don't know if there was a phone or something else they found, but they wouldn't talk to me about what they found. And we were looking desperately to find this phone. And I know somebody found it, but I thought it was that group. Okay. You know, and then they went over, they, they came to me and they, they grabbed my snorkel and they threw it in the water. Well, the water was so fast, it went under. So I went out after it and they started, uh, another group of mostly girls came over from, from the other side yelling at me or calling me child molester and what, what, something with, uh, yeah, something like that. And I, I, I went back. I went, I actually, after this incident, I didn't even, I didn't, don't even know what happened. I just know that they, they attacked me and I had, I was in self-defense. I went into self-defense mode, and then I went over to my, my uh, group of people. That was it. And they asked me what happened, and I wouldn't tell them. I said, I can't tell you. I let me calm down. Okay. I, was, I was shocked, so nobody on that knew exactly what happened. The only thing they say, said was, you know, somebody got in an argument over there, like, yep, let's just, let's just, Leave that alone. Don't, 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 don't go there. Are you able to draw for me, like, where you were looking for the phone? Like, and where the, where was Ernesto and Sandy and where was the school? Maybe it help me kind of understand. Oh. Yep. These guys were here. I don't know how many. There were quite a few. Okay. We were up, up river about, about a hundred, a hundred feet. We're, our group was here. And so you guys were in the water? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we were in the water. And then there was another group of people over here that came to to attack me. So there was this group of people here, this group of people that attacked me. They attacked me here. 
So your 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 group was floating down the river like this. Actually, we were stopped. But yes, this is the. That's direction. the direction you yeah. were going. Okay. So your group is stopped. Yeah. And where's where's who's looking for the phone besides you? Like, how so, do you know the phone is missing? Oh yeah, we talked about it. I yelled oh, okay. at those so because I lost my phone and so well, you didn't lose it. It's floating down. Because it's in that bag. Yeah. So let's go find it. You know. And he was over here pouting that he lost his phone, and I said, that's okay, I have my snorkeling gear. And then I heard this guy say that he found something, and when I was snorkeling down, I, I passed him. I kept looking, and then I came up, I came looking, and then they started yelling and screaming, and, and I said, did you guys find something? And I thought they did, and I, I, I know they did, because they were hiding something from me. When, and then I went over there and they grabbed my snow, but they threw it down. They, they started, uh, they got off their, their uh, tubes. They came after me. They pushed me. One of them hit me, and then there was a girl that came from here and hit me in the back of my head. And I was about right there. You said right here? When she hit me, yeah. And that's when the, the female hit you? Yeah. And she was coming from another group over here. I don't know how many people were in there. But were these guys stopped? Uh, yes, in very shallow water. Okay, so it's really shallow over here. Shallow there. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much the two sides are shallow. Are shallow. Yeah. Was it, what, how deep do you think it was when you were, like, snorkeling around with oh, the Oh, four or five feet. Okay. Not very deep. And the water was very murky, so I could not see anything. Really? Like my uh, goggles. But those goggles are lost. We took them, grabbed them off my face, and threw them in the water. We found the goggles. Oh, good. Thank you. And the snorkel. Yes, yes, yep. yep. Are they connected? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And they're just like regular snorkel yeah. goggles, right? Yeah, and I had okay. them over when I went to to the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah. What do they look like? Just to make sure we have white. the right one. White? Trans well, transparent plastic with the white snorkel. Okay. All right. Yeah. I think Is that it? I think, I think we have them. Okay. Um, were there any... Did it seem like these groups were together? After they came after me, I don't know. I, th I Yes. Okay. Yes, I think so. I mean, I feared for my life. Tell you the truth, when they started uh, hitting me and, 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 and pointed a, a knife at me and then another kid pointed a knife, I thought that was it for me. Luckily, I took it from, from the one of the young kids, and I think that's when I swung back. What did you do with it? I don't even know. Okay. I don't know. Absolutely, I don't know. I don't know if you got it back. I have absolutely no idea. Did you hit him? Like, did the did knife make contact with him? That I don't remember. Okay. You were so close. Sure. And one had it in his hand, so I took his hand and I bent it, and I poked him with, with his own hand. And then I, I took it from his hand, and then I, I went and swung like this. So I don't know who I hit. I just know, I just know that I took the knife from from one of the kids. Okay. The other one, I don't know what happened to. I, I didn't get hit. Because as soon as this happened, I started running across. So I went across to, to my group. And then my group was wondering, well, well, what just happened? Was it? And I didn't, I didn't want to tell them anything. Just because you didn't want to? I didn't want to get uh, anybody aroused. I didn't want my group to go say, well, we're going to go talk to those kids. No, they were too drunk. I believe they were too drunk and too to set on, on, on uh, going after people, I think. How did, what were these guys doing? Did they, they, were, know, did, did they know anything was going on? No. So I, they didn't know you were getting punched or? Well, they saw the scuffle because at one point, uh, Ernesto who was, was coming towards me like, hey man, did you find anything, anything? And I said, no, I didn't. I don't know. These guys must have it or something. I don't know. I, and, and he says, okay, well, well, he will just get another phone by Monday. He, he was concerned about getting the phone. And like, okay, so well, what are you doing? I said, I don't know, I'm just going to go leave this shit in my, 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 my thing. And then Sandy said, okay, are you okay? And said, I don't want to talk about it. You know, and then they asked me, hey, do you, what do you want to do? you want to stay here? you want to go down? And I said, I want to go down. And then... <clears throat> Some girls from my group heard that uh, something was happening over here, and they said, well, we're calling the police, and I think they called the police. Okay. One or two, I don't know. 
Did you see any of, the, of that, what was going on no. when they decided to call the police? No. Okay. Um, did you have a knife? No, you? no, absolutely. Okay. No. I had one earlier that I used to cut, but right at the beginning, and I left it on, on the, in the, I, I don't even know what I, what I did with it. I think I either gave it to one of the people, or I put it back in my truck. Okay. Yeah. So it may have been, I, I, don't, I tell you the truth, I don't even know. And that was so. after you cut the string? Yeah, we needed to uh, have a, something to cut the string over there. They don't have any nuts. So. But you have them with you today, right? The what? A knife to cut. How did that? I think it's in my car. Okay. Yeah. I think did you drive or did Sandy drive? I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I don't even know uh, where it's at, tell you the truth. Uh, it may be in one of the bags we had with us. It may have been in, in um, I, I don't know. It may be I left it, put it back in the car. Because I went back with a bunch of, I had ra uh, uh, straps. I didn't want to pay for a string. But they say string you is can't. cheap. Well, they probably don't want you to have straps. They told me uh, they should say, yeah, if you have straps, there was a kid over there. If you have straps, no problem, but the, the, the string is free. So I said, okay, I'll take the string. Okay. You know, and then I took the straps back. So, because straps can puncture the... Yeah. yeah. So I took, I had a whole bag of straps that I took back to my car. Okay. And so maybe the knife was with the straps? Uh, probably. Um, did, do you have any cuts or marks on you? Have you had a chance to like look at your no. torso or? Uh, uh, somebody was telling me that I'm bleeding from my ear, from my left ear. Who told you that? Oh, I think it was Amy. They said, make your bleeding from your left ear. I went like this, and I went in the water, I cleaned, and I, I don't see any blood, you know. And, I, I really, I don't know if you see any cuts, but I, I, mean, I don't. Yeah, um, so I don't know where the, why I was bleeding from my ear. Um, but Amy saw blood? I think she says you're bleeding from your ear, Nick. And then I cleaned and I said, look, there is nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it was blood or if it was weeds she saw. I have no idea. We were like, she was on the other side, and I was just... Yeah, getting, so she's over here, She's right? over here, yeah, right here. Oh, so she's yeah. close to, Amy's over here, close yeah. to the shore? Yeah. Okay. With that nest over right here, and I was over here somewhere in one of these. Okay, and you got back in that tube then mm -hmm. when it was time yeah, to go? Yeah, I got back in my own tube, yes. Okay. Um... Did, did Ernesto come and get you? No. Like, did anybody know that you were getting no. punched or? No. No. Was anybody? They wanted to talk, to talk to me about the phone, if I found the phone and what did those guys say. And I said, they probably did. They don't want to give it up. They're, they're, they attacked me. And that's it. And then I said, let's go. I don't want to be here. Yeah. So they don't know what happened. You didn't tell anybody? No. Okay. No. You were the first one to know. Okay. That's why probably Amy and everybody else is so surprised. Well, they're worried about you. Yeah. I mean, and, they, and even Ernesto was like, I don't know how the hell this happened. <laughs> he, he, they don't know anything because I didn't, I didn't know what to tell, tell them. Yeah. I really don't know. Everything happened so fast. I, I really don't remember why they attacked me. I don't know why they took my small small fellow away. I don't know why one of them wanted to pull, pull my pants down. I don't know why they were being so mean. I just don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. And why did they want to scare me with, with a knife? I just don't know why they're, they're scaring people on the river. I mean, it's a family-oriented river with, with knives and, 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 you know, 
to what they did. So were the two males that had knives? I saw two males, okay. yes. Yeah. And were they both from this group, or do you even, no, do you even know? Well, that I don't know. Okay. One of them was from this group. The okay. one that I took the smaller knife from, I think, was from this group. Okay, so you took the smaller knife? From one of them. Um, and is that the one that you said that you kind of went? Yes. Uh, Basically, like oh, I, I was, I was, I was going like this. I wanted, I wanted out. They were coming and they were punching me and they, they were uh, circling me and they came really close. They were pushing me in the water and I just grabbed the kid's knife. I didn't even know if I was holding it right. I just grabbed it from him because he tried to poke me with it. So I feared for my life. Sounds like I was very shocked. I was extremely shocked. I couldn't even say anything to anybody. I had locked jaw. I don't know. Right now, I don't even know how this happened, how I got away from all that. So when they were pushing you in the water, did you go underwater? Or were you, I, you I remain tripped. standing? No, I tripped. Okay. I tripped and went, I fell in the water a couple of times, yes. Um, where on your body did they hit you? In the back of my, my, my back. And I know one of the girls came over and slapped me right over my right ear. I couldn't even see what they were doing because I was I was tripping, tripping over the stones, and I was falling down, and they were just jumping on me. I'm gonna show you a picture and see if you. I was fearing for my life. I'm still fearful that they're going to find out who I am and go do something to, to, to Sandy. And possibly some of these people over here. I fear that somehow they're going to find out who I am and continue their whatever that was. And I don't know why they're so hateful. And I just don't get it. I mean, this is the second time I come to the river, the first time for my wife, and I promised her it was going to be a beautiful outing and nothing to fear. We had a lot of booze. She didn't drink because she was the designated driver. But most of us didn't. There was another girl that didn't drink at the other party because they wanted to drive home. We ate well. We had music. Everything was so good, so good, so good. Of course, I had a lot. Of the alcohol, who does you know, we Well, you had a sober ride. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't smell it on you. Were you drinking yeah. beer or vodka yeah. or what? No, no, no. Okay. We don't do uh, hardly because then we dehydrate too fast and yep. we get cramps. Okay. So after my quadruple bypass, I still have cramps. Oh, yay. Quadruple bypass? How long yeah. ago was that? A year and a half ago. Wow. Yeah, so if you see any wires in my chest, in my sternum, that's from the way. Really? You have so a pacemaker in there too or anything? No. no? Mm -hmm. I, I tell you the truth, I'm I'm scared because I'm not in the best of health, okay? Yeah. I'm just going down the river, probably should not have even drank or drank that much beer, but the doctor never said don't drink. Sure. You know, especially beer, you can have as much as you want in moderation. I was in cold water, yeah. you know, so, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then missing vein here and then from my leg. Is that what they used to? Yeah, cut, take, take it here, take it from here, cut it in half, that's two. The same thing from my uh, mm -hmm. leg, cut it in half, use the other two, so it's quadruple bypass. Wow. Yeah, I was dead. This, my heart stopped five hours. Wow. Had you had a heart attack that mm -hmm. prompted that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. So I was in pretty bad shape. It sounds like it. Yeah. I bet Sandy was pretty scared. She was because uh, I was in the hospital for, for quite some time. I bet. At Methodist Hospital. But it, they did a great job, uh, you know, and Methodist Hospital is probably one of the best hospitals for heart yeah, for surgeries. If you know somebody, I'll point them to Methodist. Yeah, my father-in-law had, had heart surgery there, too. He had a heart yeah. attack a few years ago, and that's what so, he did. So, yeah. Um, do you need some more? No, that's it. Are you sure? I got an actual fresh bottle here. So you want it? Yes, please. I can't travel with all It's uh, brand new, too. I didn't yes, drink out of it yet. No, no, no. Thank you so uh, much. I probably am going to drink out of it now. So you can have yes. that, and I'm, this is going to be my part. I really part. appreciate it. Thank you.
Yeah, I take a medication that makes me really, really thirsty. So I have bottles of water rolling around in my back seat. I've got I'm them in the door pocket. Take, I'm supposed to take mine, but they're at home. And I don't know when I'm going to take them. Okay, uh, so you have medication that you need? Oh, need? yeah. Okay. Five medication. Because um, I can call Sandy and see... Uh, oh, I'm not going to have it drive over here. Well, I might be able to send somebody to go get them. Oh. Just so that they get back here. And I mean, She's still so shaking right now. She is... Probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, but we need we need to make sure you have your medication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would like I said I wouldn't have her drive. Yeah. Yep. I might be able to send somebody there to oh. get them. What medications do you take, Nick? Oh my God. Are they all heart related, or some do different well, things? Two of them are heart related. Okay. Yeah. One is aspirin. That's heart related, right? Yeah. Blood thinning. Yeah. Yep. Um. Oh, uh, uh, potassium, because I'm getting a lot of muscle plants. Okay. Um, That's four. Three? There's one. Okay. There's another one. Uh, I'll tell you when I read Okay, no worries. Yeah. Um... Were you on your phone at all during during your day today? I know that Sandy didn't bring her phone. I took some pictures. Okay. And then I put it away. Sandy does not like to take a lot of pictures because then they get posted on uh, Facebook, Facebook or Instagram or something. Yeah. But I'm okay if they take them, if they post them. Yeah. I did take a few, didn't have a chance to do anything with them. Okay. Yeah, but I was not on the phone. I didn't call anybody. Okay, did you use your phone around the time? No. Like right before, you know, you were no. looking for the phone no. or anything no. like that? No, not me. I, okay. Not like these guys are constantly on their phones. That's why uh, I yell lost his. Because he was on it too much? People can't enjoy life. You know, nowadays going down the river without being on their phones. Of course, they take a lot of pictures, but it, the picture is not the same experience as being there. So. Okay. Um, so do you think these, the pictures that you took were like at the beginning of your journey or where do you oh, think? Oh, we did take, uh, I took a, a couple of group ones where they have that music uh, place in the bathrooms. Okay. We made a, a stop there to eat sandwiches. There are a lot of people over there. That, that uh, beach was completely full. Lots of people there, lots of people. It was a beautiful day. In it was. And this, and this now will probably close that place down. You think so? Yes. Well, I don't know what 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 resulted of it, because I I don't know. Is this you? Yes. Okay. Who, what do you think was happening at that time? They were, they were fighting me. They, they pointed the knife at me. They pointed the knife at me. B both boys pointed the knife at me. Okay. Did you see anyone take this picture of you? No, God, no. I was, I was actually very, very uh, um, scared. Yeah. I was very scared. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what they were doing and why. I mean, I understand they were drunk. But you get drunk, I get drunk, we all get drunk. We don't do that kind of stuff, especially on a family a river like this, family outing. We don't do that kind of stuff. Did but you I was very, you see, I was very, very scared. I didn't know what was going to happen next. Did you see the woman that hit you in the ear? Did you see mm -hmm. her at all? No. I turned around, she hit me again. Okay. Do you remember what her bathing suit looked like? Mm, no. What she was wearing? She, she was just yelling at me and calling me a uh, 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 child molester. That's how it all started. They kept calling me a child molester. I don't know, out of the blue. And then they wanted to beat me up because they said I'm a child molester. And then my argument back was to them was, if I'm a child molester and you're children, you shouldn't be drinking. You should not be out here drinking. Okay? and doing what you're doing. Where are your pants? 
Did they look like they were younger? Oh, they like, were, I don't know. I think they looked pretty young to me. Okay. I don't think they were of the age of uh, drinking. Really? I, I think. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't hang out with, with people like that. My my generation and the people I hang out with are much older people. Like Ernesto and Sandy. Like Ernesto and Sandy and yeah. Amy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Amy is probably one of the youngest ones there. Sure. 50, 45 and Sandy is 61. Yeah. So I'm younger, you know. So you said that they were standing really close to you. They were on I top of me. They okay. were pushing me, shoving me. I tripped. I fell down. I got up. And I, that's where I saw the, the one of the kids there it was the closest kid with the, with the, with the knife. And I grabbed it from him. And that was the, the smallest? Yes, kid. yes. And he was in front of you? Was he, was he as close as we are? Or oh, he was closer. closer. He was okay. closer. He was closer. But as soon as he came with the knife, I grabbed the knife from him. And what I did then, I mean, I shouldn't show you, but I, I grabbed, twisted his his uh, uh, arm and poked him with, with, his, and with his own uh, knife. Then, okay. then I took it from him and I started swinging. Okay. So I swung. I don't even know who I hit. Okay. I don't know if, if, if I hit the girl that hit me twice in the head from behind. I don't know if I hit another kid. I don't know. They were just on top of me. They, were, they, were, they chased me, hitting me and yelling at me and, and calling me, insulting me. That's it. Okay. So I don't know... What knife they had, I don't know. I just saw two knives. That's it. The longer one and the shorter one. Okay. I, and I don't know where they are. I don't know who's got them. I don't know. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, get a sample of your DNA because I'm if, if these knives don't belong to you, mm -hmm. I would imagine your DNA is not going to be on them. Well, I touched one of them. Yeah, you touched the one you grabbed. Yeah, you grabbed from the from kid. Him. Yeah. Um, would you Would you be willing to give me a sample yes. of your DNA? Okay. Yeah. Is that Is that a good thing? Is well, it, I mean, what? It, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a lawyer over here to us. Yeah, and certainly. So um, should I wait? Well, I've got a colleague that's, that's um, in the process of writing a search warrant. So we're going to get it one way or another. Mm -hmm. I just thought if I could ask you, and we could just do it right now, I'll just, like, show you how to, like, what we would do. I know what it I is. I would just get your DNA well, sample. Yeah. yeah, it's like a big Q-tip. Yeah. Um, we'd also like to do an exam, have a nurse examine your body. That's absolutely okay. Okay. And I want her to look in your ears, and yeah. I want her to look at your back, and... Um, you know, the people that are in these groups, we're going to try to collect evidence from them because they might have your skin underneath their fingernails or, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to do our best to get any yeah. evidence to, I mean, we, we yeah, don't know yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and, and, and I know everything that would happen in the river, so. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah and there's that part yeah. of it, too, yeah. but. Um, Definitely. Okay. Yep, yeah. Okay. You can solve me. Okay. I just um, don't know if I had a lawyer present what. He or she would say. Well, what, I just want you to know that we would get it anyway. Okay. I've got a coworker that's writing a search warrant. If you would get it judge. anyway, then let's do it. Okay. With let's with the court order or just let's do it now and get no, it done? No, no, no. Let's do it now and, okay. and give you what you need okay. to start your your proceedings yeah. or your search. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I mean, if you, you sound like you were really afraid. Yeah. Um, I, have, I have a... Quadruple bypass. I have been out of shape. I have been in bed for, for God, for a long time, for six months at least. I couldn't go to work. I'm not in the best. I mean, I was just floating down the river. Nothing much. Every once in a while I got up so I could pee because I can't pee in the, in, the, in the tent there. You know, shouldn't tell you that on camera, but yes, most people have to get up the, the thing. So I got out, I would get up and then hold on and then get back in. I mean, I, do, I don't do anything to, to, to stay in shape. I just, I'm a guy that wants to survive and work, keep working at reaching engineering, you know. And why these things happen, I, it's beyond me. I mean, I, 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 I don't understand. I mean, why would they, that many people, come down on one person that didn't absolutely do anything, take his goggles, Almost one wanted to pull my pants down. 
So I did your did your trunks have like a dryer? Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. Didn't come down. Oh no, oh. no, 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 no. They came down a little bit, but no, because I have a drawstring on it, so yeah, they they couldn't pull it down. But why? All of a sudden, they were like wolves around me, and they were they were attacking me from all their directions, and I I truly truly feared for my life. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. I mean, these guys were talking over there. I didn't know what to say. I mean, I, I was, I was just. Which guys are you talking? My, my, oh, my, okay. my, my, my guys. So, and they were quite a bit distance, so they didn't see anything. I don't think they saw anything. And. So, would you go back to your tube? Do you guys get the hell out of there? Or no. Do you like, what do you do? We stayed there. Okay. Yeah, the girls called the cops. We didn't know what to do. Um. And we stayed there for a long time. There were people coming. We even saw the, the sheriff coming. And I, I, they kept saying, oh, my, my God, they didn't know what happened. So they said, oh, my God, what happened? So there was a fight. There was a fight. And I said, yeah, I don't know what was going on after that. I thought they were still fighting. I Personally, when I came back, I saw a whole bunch of people coming over there and yelling at each other. And I thought they were still fighting for some reason. I didn't know what was going on. So I personally wanted to stay and watch to see if the cops get them for for fighting, you know, for whatever they're oh, doing. Sure. Okay. So I wanted to be a witness to them fighting. Gotcha. Or if they, the cops needed a witness, I wanted to sit there for as long as possible. And then the group said, well, there's so many people there. I don't know. Let's just get going. We don't want to get involved in that. I was just in there. They attacked me. Yeah, but look at them now. They're attacking each other. I don't know what they're doing. So cops came, and we stayed there for, I don't know, another 10, 15 minutes. With, when the police were there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we decided, we'll go. Nobody asked me anything, and I said, I kept my mouth shut. I am down the river we went. Okay. So I was very shocked. I, I didn't know what, what just happened. We well, Sandy said that you were quiet. I was very quiet. And you didn't really talk. Didn't want. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. I mean, I get my, excuse my French, my ass kicked by a whole bunch of kids. What am I gonna say? I just got my ass kicked by this kid. Now the police is on top of him. Well, I think something is gonna come out of it. Yeah. So I thought the police was there because they were fighting. You know, I, because these were just boys, and they were being obnoxious. Not, not only picking on me. Then these girls came over and hit me. So these are girls over here? Well... Mostly? Mostly. Okay. And this was all guys? Yeah. I didn't know who was in this group, but I know these were all guys because I I was, I was came, I was snorkeling back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I asked them if they found something, and they said, well, you know, they started calling me a molester. Then I got up, and one of them took my, my goggles, threw me in the river, I went after them. One of them wanted to pull my pants down, and there you go. So what happened? Can you tell me what happened? Yes. Um, four people went to the hospital with injuries. Oh my God! And uh, one person died. Oh no. I don't know any of their names, and I don't know any genders, so I, I don't was know. Was that because they fought each other, or is that... I don't know. The, I, don't know. Okay. I don't know what their injuries are. I, I just, I was with Sandy the whole mm -hmm. time, and then when I kind of turned Sandy over to Ernesto and Amy, then I came here. So um, I, I, I have no idea what their injuries were. Oh, my um, God. Oh, my God. So we just need to be able to like piece this together, you know, in your statement. What other pictures did they give you of me? It's just that one. That's the only one I have. They didn't take, they, well, they have lots of cameras. You should take their yep, cameras. Yes, and so I have colleagues 
yeah. investigators that are that are talking to all of those, you know, the, the people in the group and the other witnesses. So yes, we are we are trying to collect. And I told Ernesto and Amy because um, they said that uh, Rosie. Rosie, yeah. Pictures? yeah. Okay. But um, I don't think she took any pictures of those guys. They well, were oh, at the at the stop at the stop up here. Yes, but yeah. you were you were snorkeling. They might have been like taking oh, a picture or something. Oh, I see. And yeah, they, yeah, we yeah, gotten, yeah, yeah. We could have gotten we could get these guys yeah. in the background that they don't even realize they have it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. So I asked them to go through their photos right, so that right, we would right, be right. Um, yeah, in contact yeah, with got them. Got it. Yeah. I, I was all of a sudden you say that. Like, why would they take pictures of me going over there? No, you just never know what you get in a picture. Yeah. If you're, if they're sitting here waiting for you mm -hmm. and and uh, yeah. somebody else to find the phone. Did you, did you find his phone? Um, I don't know. Again, I was, I've been with Sandy pretty much the whole time, and now I came here with you. So I do know. I, I, I did get a message that the goggles on the snorkel were found. Um, so that's all the information that I have about like items that were located. Now my whole life is down the tubes. Well, I don't I don't know if that's the case. Because people have the right to defend themselves. I know, but this is oh this is Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin. You continue on. I, okay. I, I, I usually know that people that, that defend themselves, they end up being accused of being this and being that. Well, I think if you'd asked me what I would have done, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Enough. Yeah, you don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't I would have been scared shitless, I can tell you that. When, when that many people yeah. Yeah, tried to pull your pants down and hit you and, yeah, and Two, two two boys had knives on them. They didn't find any of those two knives? I, I don't know. I don't know. But we're looking. And, you know, we're looking before it gets dark out. Um, I'm glad I actually took that kid's knife. He would have stabbed me. He was not there to scare me. He was there to harm me. At least I'm, I'm here, but I'm sorry for what, what, it, how it ended up. Still scared, like I said. I'm scared that they're gonna be finding out where I live, and they're gonna be hunting us at night, and they're going to be hurt, hurting my wife. Well, I will call Sandy as soon as I leave her, okay, mm -hmm. and just check in on her. Uh, find out about your medication. Have you had any medicine this morning? No, I take them in the evening. Okay, take them in the evening. Yeah. What, what would happen if you don't take them Nothing. tonight? Nothing. I don't, I, I'm not even hungry to take the food. Okay. But if you don't take your medication tonight, is that life-threatening? Mm, I don't think so. No, oh, I mean, granted what happened today, you know, I was shocked, yeah, but I don't know. I don't think so. I just can't believe what happened. You know, they need, they need to maybe do sobriety tests on minors on that river. Maybe they need to put an end to drinking, uh, uh, underage drinking and doing drugs. The, the, that the river over there is is turned into a sewer. My second time, and I have dragged my wife out of there, pretty much against her will. I promised her it was going to be the best day. I made promises, promises. We're going to have a great time with this. Because she didn't want to go. No. She always says, all oh, the places like this, all they do is uh, smoke pot and do this. Yes, there is a lot of uh, pot smoking over there. We don't know who is legal, who is illegal. I don't know anything about Wisconsin laws, but you can smell it. It was everywhere in here. Yeah. And I don't know what people do to you do the DNA, you can find out, you know, what type of drugs are in my system. 
I've never done any of that stuff, so I don't know. I'm very clean, and it's as clean as they go. You looked at my criminal record. You can keep digging. There is nothing there because I don't have anything, not even a parking ticket, not a speeding ticket. You know, I'm as a law-abiding citizen as they come. But I fear for my life, too. I mean, I went through a, a, a very serious oh, surgery to be alive to be knocked uh, 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 down by a bunch of kids on the river? Yeah, I, I understand. And I'm not blaming the police. It's, it's a, I believe that's a private land. They have to have their own security there. Yeah. And they need to do better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub these along your lower thumb line and kind of inside your cheek. I'm going to do both at the same time. It shouldn't hurt at all. If it doesn't, let me know. I'm going to put them in this box, and then I'm going to seal this bag while we're sitting here so yeah. you can see that I, that I sealed it, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll just have you open up your mouth. Let's see here. It shouldn't, like I said, it shouldn't hurt. All right. And you're okay with having the nurse do the exam on you? It, can you picture that you have a lump on the body? You okay with that? Yeah. These actually are from drag from uh, trying to get out of the the, okay. the tubes in shallow water. Okay. You know, I had a hard time trying to stop the the train. Yeah. Can I just? I'm gonna. I know the nurse will too, but I'd like. Can I? Take, oh. Can I take a picture of it? Yes. Okay. But this was not from the confrontation. Oh, this wasn't? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood that. No, this was from scrapes on the river bottom when I was when you were snorkeling. snorkeling. I got gotcha. you. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, please don't use that. Yeah. I didn't touch those kids. I did okay. not. I did not swim, nothing. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to go call. I'm going to seal this up because I told you I was going to do that. And then I'm going to go call the person that um, has the nurse kind of on standby so that we yeah. can um, get that taken care of. Um, I'm also going to give Sandy a holler. Oh, look at that. The tape just went. Oh, no. Oh, I love that. This is good. Well, I didn't like it because it's all... And it's not going to be big enough to do what I need to do here, so we'll try again. Worst case scenario, I can always bring it to my office next door and, and do it in the evidence room. But I'm going to try to take care of it here. Probably dries up. When it dries up, it's probably... Well, and then it's real sticky and it's real finicky, so if you get it stuck on something, it's, yeah. you know, it's meant to not... Uh, the old camera. Mm -hmm. So, and then it on my finger. So I'll just. It did so fast. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go call my supervisor who had been in contact with the nurse. Um, and just let them know that we're going to do that, um, and then I'll be, I will be back. Do you have any questions now? I just not. You need to go five. You need to go five. Right. I can have, I can make sure that Number happens. Um, I'm just going to write your name on here so that. Today is seven thirty of twenty-two. And my. Yep, this is, oh. that means no middle initial. Oh, then, oh, I did. oh, did I spell it wrong? It's no, M-I-U. No. Yep, M -I, I did. Yeah. It's M-I-U. There we go. Okay, that's yours. I will be back in a minute. In the meantime, I'll have one of the jail staff in the bathroom. And are you still doing okay? Do you need, how's your water there? I have plenty for now. Okay. It's going through a lot faster than I thought. Thank you.